Hey friends, welcome back to another holiday classic video where we take a look back at some of the holiday videos I've done over the years. This one is a winter florals one, which I feel like I'm also gonna update because you know what? I feel like I could do it better, but let's take a look back at where I kind of was a few years ago and you guys can let me know what you think. Okay, so today we are gonna be painting some winter florals. Um, I'm painting in my Etcher Lab cold press watercolor sketchbook. I have my Winsor & Newton professional watercolors in my palette and I have my Emma Lefebvre Craftimo size 12 and size six round brushes. All right, so I've done a few winter floral tutorials before. We're gonna try and change it up today, maybe. <laughs> uh, we're gonna see how it goes. So I think we're gonna do some anemones. I really like anemones if you haven't noticed from all my floral tutorials before, but we're gonna do that. And anemones, they're very, very, well, we're gonna be doing some white ones. So if you're doing a white flower on a white background, um, it's gonna have to have a little bit of color for it. So I'm gonna use like a really light wash of black, which will make it a really light gray. So I'm just gonna, and like really light, like that. Like that's, that's about it to start. Okay, and then maybe a little bit of Payne's gray. So. We're gonna have them pointing in different directions. And these are gonna be loose florals. So I'm gonna have the first one pointing up this way. And I'm just gonna do a really light petal like that. And you don't even need to fill the whole thing in, okay? But you'll see a little bit of that gray at the base and at the tip. Let's do another petal, kind of curving. And we will do a bit more detail on it after to make it pop a bit more obviously and we'll have some greenery and stuff behind to also make it pop and then another one this way and again we're doing loose so don't worry too much about what it looks like and then I'm just gonna do this like scoopy <laughs> scoopy petal there all right so I actually might take a little bit of Payne's gray just a tiniest bit and just add it to the center a little bit Get a little bit of that bluish gray in there. And then maybe a little bit at some of the tips. Just a little bit. Okay, so it stands out a tad. Okay, but once it's kind of surrounded by a bunch of different um, greeneries and stuff like that, it will be more noticeable. All right, so let's wash off our brush. Let's do another one. I think we're gonna do, yeah, like a white bouquet of these with some greenery. So we're now we're gonna have one facing this way. So we're gonna have the petals going this way. A little bit more color on there. Tiny bit more. Like that. And they can bleed into each other if you want. It's a little bit too dark. It's okay. And if you're just starting with anemones, you've never painted them with me before, um, I do have like tutorials where I break it down a little bit better for you. So maybe check that out if this is a bit too fast or... But we're just making it super, super loose. And see those little white spaces? Those will act as highlights. Grab a little bit more of that color. Tiny bit. To the center. And maybe to the tips a bit. Like that. Okay, and then I'm going to have one more down here. And we're going to kind of have it facing more open-ish and kind of down. We're having these like scooped petals all kind of clustered together. A little bit. Okay, so you can even start with your little scoopy bit here and then have these petals facing downward. Really loose. A little bit more blue. Oops, that's a lot of blue. Just water it down. Oops, that's okay. Or the paint's gray. It's not really blue, although it's kind of like a blue. It's a bluey paint gray, like so. Okay, so now I think I'm going to do some, um, I wonder if we should do, let's do like a 
longer eucalyptus, I think. Um, so I'm going to grab some green here, some sap green. Some hooker's green and some dioxazine purple to make it more of a grayish green to just tone it down a bit. And we're going to do longer, the long, I think it's like the seeded eucalyptus. So they're kind of like longer. shapes and I wanted it to bleed into there but it's not wet anymore so that's okay like that like that okay I was hoping it would bleed a little bit into some of these flowers yeah a little bit of greenery in the middle there I'm just doing these Longer shapes, longer leaf shapes, and then outside this way. You can have it branching off. We're gonna also be doing some, maybe some pine cones and some pine needles with like little red berries, like so. Like that. And you can even do some of the like little seeded bits, so, like little dots if you want. So a little stem and then some dots. To look like that seeded eucalyptus. Just a little stem and then little dots. Like that. All right. And then we're going to do, I think, some pine cones. Um, we're going to do some small brown pine cones. So I'm just going to take some burnt umber here. And you start off with a light wash. Mm, I'm going to start with one here. You're going to have your brush upside down, so the pointed part's in. And they're very loose. And you're just going to dab. And then you're going to kind of go in this kind of pine cone shape. You're just dabbing the color, leaving some white space on, in between. But you also don't want it like too uniform where it looks kind of weird because it all looks the same, but you're just going to make it a little bit thicker going out like so. And then we're going to do some dark ones after. Maybe we'll do one over here. I don't think I've done a pine cone in a bouquet before. Coming in between there, like so. I'm not going to do too many of them. I might do just like one more down here. So upside down of the direction you're going. You can always turn your brush if you need to as well. And we're going to do a darker brown on top to give it more depth and shadow so it doesn't just look like brown dots. <laughs> like so. Okay. Now I want to do some like pine. Um, so we're going to create a really nice dark green. Um, I would use my perline green, which I really love. Um, but I know not a lot of people have it in their palettes. This is my favorite color, but you can also just take hooker's green and then some dioxazine purple and it's fairly similar. So like that. Okay. So, but first I'm going to take a brown for the stem. So I have this sepia color, maybe a bit of burn umber just to lighten it a bit. And I'm going to do a stick and then a stick like that. Okay. I'm going to have another one coming down here, I think. Can even have it like that too. Okay. And then you're going to take your dark green and these are going to be longer pine needles. They're kind of in clusters from one spot. So like say the pine starts from here and they all come from that one spot like so. I'm going to make it really dark. Okay. 
Then I'm going to do like another little spot here. Like that. One from here. And you're just doing this flicking motion with your wrist. And really light pressure. Like that. And if you feel like your brown is getting a little bit lost in there, wash your brush off and you can just add a little bit more brown in there if you'd like. Okay. Let's do this one. So I'm actually going to have one coming from down here. I'm going to make sure it's nice and dark. Like that. One coming from over here. You can overlap some of your leaves if you want. And once we add the centers to our um, anemones, they will pop out more. They are not done yet. <laughs> I love these pine. I don't do these enough in my, my winter stuff, winter work. <laughs> I like them though. I think they look cool like that. And I think I might have some more coming out this way in a bit. I just want to figure that out first, just placing a little bit more brown. Um, and then I think, uh, yeah, I feel like I could do more there. Let's see, coming out from behind. There and there maybe. I like to work in threes usually. So I have it coming from behind the pine cone. A little bit here. Like that. All right, so clearly we have like some space here, here, and here that need to kind of frame those anemones a little bit better. Um, so I might do some darker eucalyptus. I might even also grab a bit more and do like tiny little pine cones in here, just little dots like that. Like there's mini ones. But for there are other pine cones, grab a darker brown. And you're just gonna do the same kind of thing just adding a little bit of darkness in there. Mine's still wet, so it's like bleeding in, which I actually kind of like. Some parts are bleeding in, some are not. It just adds a bit more depth. Like that. Okay. Maybe I'll do some darker leaves too. Let's do some regular eucalyptus. So we have our like our seeded eucalyptus that are a bit longer. Let's do some regular. So I'm just gonna take a really light wash of this dark green. You can even add a little bit of blue to it. So it's a bit more on the blue side. And I'm just gonna do these rounded petal shapes kind of coming off. I have one coming behind this anemone. I don't know if I like how blue that is. I'm gonna add a little bit more darkness. I'm gonna touch the base. Maybe a bit of the tips, I don't know. Let's see. Just blend it a bit more. Really light wash of this have another one coming this way. Just make a little cluster. 
and then a little bit of darkness on the stem like that I think that looks cute all right and let's do one down here Just these really loose rounded petals like that. You can even have one coming back up here. Get our darkness. Touch the stem so it bleeds in a little bit. Like that. Cute. I like that. I don't know if I'm actually going to do red berries. I'm thinking maybe we'll do like some gold or something. Hmm. I don't know. Clearly I haven't really planned this out too well. That's fine. It's working out. It's working out. A little bit lighter. Just these rounded petals. Petals, leaves. like that cute all right I feel like yeah we need to add a bit more brown into them let's do the center of our anemones actually before we do the centers I'm going to grab a little bit of black tiny tiny bit of black again and I'm just going to add like a little bit of curvy lines just to add a little bit of detail just coming from the center and then from the top down just do like really really light wash for this just for a little bit of texture Like that wait for that to dry and then we'll do the centers okay I feel like yeah we could use some more like brown and then we'll go in with some darker leaves after just to yeah let's do like a brown and then maybe like some gold accents so I have this palette it's a gold metallic palette like so and I'm thinking more like this like champagne -y color so at first I'm gonna do some brown sticks <laughs> okay I'm just gonna make it really jagged so just a really light grasp on it and it makes it kind of a bit easier to be a bit more jagged with your movements and go right over some of the eucalyptus if you like can have some over here I was gonna do red, but I was like, nah, let's keep red out of this, this palette. All right, now, oh, now I need my, <laughs> my metallic color. Okay, so I'm gonna use this like champagne color. I forget what their actual names are, but I feel like it's probably like champagne or something. Nice like white gold kind of color. And I'm just gonna do these like little berries that will shimmer when you tilt it. There are lots of really great metallic um, paints out there. Um, this Etcher one is really nice. I like these browns. They have a colorful one too. Um, KMS Watercolor has some. She's like makes handmade watercolors, which I really like and I also use. Um, other ones, Fine Tech, I think. There's some Amazon. I haven't tried a gold palette that I haven't liked. So if you look on Amazon, just like gold watercolors, a lot of them are like the same and pretty good. Maybe I'll do some like smaller ones too. Yeah, maybe 
I should do a, more of a loose dotted one. I think that looks better. Tiny little berries. And I always find with like a winter palette or winter florals, it's nice to have that um, that shimmer in there. <clears throat> Almost done. So cute. I was thinking of doing some like tiny dark leaves as well. Let me get this dark green again, just for a bit of contrast and size. And just do like a little stem here and just do some tiny little stem of dark leaves for contrast and color. I just like switching it up a bit. to add a little bit more something to it. I'm just using the tip of my brush to create these shapes. See how like the darkness kind of makes it pop a little bit? I don't know if you can hear my husband and my son downstairs. Sounds like they're howling for some reason. They do odd things. Just because that such this is such a light colored bouquet that having those little contrasted dark leaves just makes it stand out a bit more. Oops. Maybe some like right there. Or even here. And here. <laughs> like that. Okay, now let's do the center of these anemones and I'm going to use some paints gray and I'm just going to do a circle like we're an oval okay an oval this way and an oval this way and then the centers so they have these little tiny lines so the way the long um petals are facing you're gonna have the longer lines on the shorter like curved one you're just gonna have like the tiniest little lines just because of the perspective of it and at the end of the lines you're gonna do these little dots like so and then the dots are gonna come in closer to that center circle because of the way it's facing like that okay that and then long ones this way short ones on this side and dots like so and if you feel <laughs> if you feel like your anemones are a little looking like flat you can always take a little bit of your black wash again, like the tiny, tiny bit, and just like, you know, add a bit more shape to some of those petals. A little bit. So they're not as light. Totally up to you though. Just to give them a bit more shape. So you can see it a bit better. 
There you go. White flowers can be difficult for that, that reason. Of course, it's lunchtime now, so my son and my husband are in the kitchen yelling. <laughs> like that. Like so. And if you need to, wash and dry off your brush and just like blend any harsh lines out that you're not loving. The one thing that's bugging me about this are these seeded eucalyptus. So I actually might make one side of the leaves a bit darker. I feel like they look a little bit too flat to me. So I'm just going to go over one side with the same green. to give them a bit of more shape, just like that. Doesn't matter which side. Yeah, I like that better. They look a little too flat. Like that, a little bit of darkness on the stem. There we go. And there is our winter bouquet. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in our next video. Have a great day guys. Bye.